one thing I've really kind of been overlooking a little bit is doing sketches. And I think it's an important part of the creative process, you know, getting a, a great sketch down and really exploring your design. Lately I've been revisiting the art of composition and how to direct the eye through a space. You know, basically, composition is simply creating a hierarchy of how your eye moves through that space, how your eye you know, reads uh, and uh, simulates the images in that canvas. So uh, that's one thing that's really important to explore with a sketch. You can kind of lay out your basic uh, values and it can be a lot of fun and um, it's something that will really boost you know the quality of your work you might say that the design and composition is the skeleton of your piece and if you don't have that foundation down right it's not you know it's not going to work no matter how much you you paint over it and you know, how much you you try to to resolve it later it's going to be a lot more difficult now i have made paintings work later uh, but you know it's always a lot easier if you can just get it right the first time so I did an interesting experiment I started sketching some images that I painted quite a few months ago if not years ago and I did these sketches from memory now I knew I had some uh, photos of these paintings somewhere so after the fact I went back and looked at them so I'm gonna compare them here and it's really quite interesting the difference between a remembered composition and a composition that uh, you know I worked out in most cases in some cases I worked out you know on the canvas I also want to share a really great gift I recently got um, this um, sketchbook here and as you can see it's, it's got this leather cover on it it's really quite cool I'm, uh, you know, an artist and I'm subject to my moods and sometimes I get a little depressed and my wife recently bought this for me and I got to show it to you, it's so awesome. Um, it has this band on here and the reason I love this band is um, it'll keep the pages really tight so when you're out in the field you can do a sketch and um, then, then bind it up really tightly and come back and, and do your fixing. You always want to fix a, a sketch. It will get blurred eventually. But um, anyway, here it is. Um, kind of, let me get back a little bit from it. You can see the pages are really, really nicely toned. Um, and the interior pages are, um, they have a texture to them. It's hard, it's hard to see the texture in the uh, you know, in, in this video, but, um, but here's, here's the um, sketch. You can see um, how I've done this really small thumbnail here and then this, this smaller piece uh, here. Now this is, this is from memory and um, this, this isn't a painting I did. This is actually a scene I saw many years ago and lost the reference material on it and wanted to come back and see if I could perhaps recreate uh, a composition based on it. Now this is a piece that I that I recently painted, and um, again there's this little kind of mini thumbnail up in the corner, but um, it was more of a horizontal piece, and I wanted to explore it as possibly a larger um, a larger square. So this you know I imagine this kind of is a two by two foot uh, painting, or perhaps even a three by three. So the first thing you notice about this painting is that it's more vertical. My sketch, uh, which I was doing from memory, is much more square, but um, actually the composition is fairly accurate. There's a bit of sky. Got an unusual composition in the fact that there's some very dark trees in the immediate foreground, uh, but with sort of a downshot into the distant scene. You can see a distant road trailing off. So I've got a, I know I've got a photograph of this one so I want to check against and see how my imagination worked. Now I, I think that this is a stronger composition. I'm not sure but we'll soon find out. 
In this case, my sketch is quite a bit different. You'll notice that in the painting, the trees intrude up into the mountains and into the sky, which I like quite a bit. So I will incorporate that into my next painting of this motif. But um, otherwise, some of the similar similarities are um, pretty accurate. Now, here, this is kind of a composition that I had. I took a photograph. Uh, well, my wife and I were up up in the mountains, and I just fell in love with this composition. And again, I lost the reference material. I, you know, I, I take a lot of photos, and it's easy to misplace uh, images. So. This is kind of the fish that got away, and we'll see if I can if I can make something of that. This one's not quite done, uh, but it's um, of a scene that I did, and we'll take a look at you know the basic compositions in. We'll see how I just haven't put my values in yet, but um, I'll dig through my archives and find this painting. We'll see how it looks compared to it. This painting is fairly accurate to the um, the sketch, so so maybe by not finishing my sketch, I sort of subverted this exercise. But um, you know, obviously, some paintings are going to be a little bit more memorable than others. But I still think it's a very interesting and useful experiment to try. So you might want to you might want to try it. Oh, one thing I I would like to say about this this uh, sketchbook is um, my wife got it from a woman in Portugal and I'll I'll list the uh, Etsy site so you can you can go and get yourself this great sketchbook um, like I said the paper is really fantastic and um, it's, it's just a real pleasure to draw on this thing I think part of it is the way the paper has been toned um, it sort of helps me to not get all uptight about, um, you know, destroying that perfectly pristine piece of white paper.